Premier Planet, it's Justin Barlow back at you with the results from this past Saturday night. Our 293rd studio taping. We are pedaling right along on the road to PPW 300. What a night it was. We kicked things off in a huge way with a gauntlet match, but not just any gauntlet match. This gauntlet would determine the order of entry into next Saturday's Armageddon gauntlet. Or actually, by the time this post, it'll be this coming Saturday, by the way. Way. Two back to back studio tapings coming your way this Friday and Saturday. And here's the great part, folks, just like we did last time. Just for coming Friday night, when you pay full price admission for Friday, you get half off Saturday night's admission. So a great deal for two back to back studio tapings coming up this Friday and Saturday. But anyway, back to the gauntlet. This gauntlet determined order of entry into this coming Saturday's Armageddon gauntlet in which Mr. Electricity Chase Gosling will defend his Armageddon championship. Chase, being the champion, he gets lucky lasties and he gets to go into the gauntlet last, but the second to last position would be decided. In the first match, the unlucky two who drew numbers one and two were the former five-time PPW champion and current Challenge Pro champion, Matt Vine. He took on and eliminated Poncho from there. Vine also eliminated Tim Castle, but then Enestra, the man who lost the PPW World Heavyweight Championship just one week ago to Anakin, would eliminate Matt Vine. Enestra would then eliminate Ultimo, and it came down to the final round. Inestra and not bad Chad. Inestra had already been through two rounds before this. Not bad Chad was the favorite as a result, but Inestra was able to sneak one out and Inestra will now be the second to last entry in Saturday night's Armageddon gauntlet. Besides Chase Gosling, he's got the best chance of winning the whole thing and becoming the Armageddon champion. After that, it was a return match. Connor Corr, the self-proclaimed sportsman and favorite son of McHenry County, seconded by 0-1, took on Eddie the Bruiser Cruz, a newcomer here in Premier Pro Wrestling. In only his third professional match ever, Connor managed to sneak two victories out over Eddie in the past. And tonight, 0-1 playing a huge role, getting involved as Connor distracted the referee on, I can't even remember how many occasions, but Eddie refused to quit and finally in their frustration Connor and Zero One initiated a double team on Eddie that resulted in a disqualification but Connor and Zero One just laying the boots to this poor young kid until not bad Chad comes in for the save chases off Zero One and Connor and that's going to lead us to this coming Saturday night where it will be a tag team match Zero One and Connor Core will face not bad Chad and the kid who just picked up his first victory in Premier Pro Wrestling Eddie the Bruiser Cruz and then it was main event time the PPW World Tag Team Championships on the line the number one contenders the American Ninja Warrior Sensei and Mr. Electricity Chase Gosling the Armageddon Champion took on the reigning champions El Guerrero Jose Acosta and the new Premier Pro Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion Anakin who dethroned Inestra one week ago at PPW 292 to become the new top dog here in Premier Pro Wrestling Chase and Sem were put together as a result of them being the last two men standing in a single elimination tag team gauntlet that was held at PPW 292. And Chase and Sem, both of them, multiple tag team championships between them. But of course, Anakin and Jose, the consummate fighting champions, this match ended when all four men were involved in the match and as the referee was distracted, Chase used the chair and hit Anakin with it. That allowed Sem to pick up the pin and we have new PPW World Tag Team Champions there, Mr. Electricity Chase Gosling and the American Ninja Warrior Semsei. But if there's one thing we've learned about Anakin and Jose over the years, they are not to be counted out and it's a guarantee they're gonna be on the hunt to regain those World Tag Team Championships. And folks, that's gonna take us to our big double studio taping this Friday and Saturday. Friday night, we will crown the king of the Iron Man in a little Iron Man tournament. So first, we have two matches, and then the winners of those matches will go on to face each other, and the winner of that match will be crowned king of the Iron Man. In the first round, it's going to be Semsei, one half of the new tag team champions, taking on Tim Castle. All these matches, 30-minute time limits, the most falls at the end of the time limit, wins the match. 
Second match is going to be the modern day gladiator and challenge pro champion Matt Vine taking on one half of the former tag team champions, Jose Acosta. And again, the winners of those two matches will then face off to become king of the Ironman and then Saturday night tag team action. It's going to be Connor Corrin 01 taking on Not Bad Chad and Eddie the Bruiser Cruz. And in the main event, it's the Armageddon gauntlet for Chase Gosling's Armageddon Championship. And folks, Friday night is a Patreon exclusive taping for the first time ever. We will be doing an entire taping exclusive only to Patreon, meaning after Friday night, the only way you can watch it back is by subscribing to us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Premier Pro Wrestling. Folks, we really hope to see you out here just for coming Friday night. Don't forget, you get half off your Saturday admission. It's a great deal for two crazy, exciting nights of PPW action. And as always, follow us all over the web. Give us a like on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Premier Planet. Hit us up on Insta. Visit us at PremierProWrestling.com where you can shop from our exciting catalog of PPW t-shirts and where you can sign up for PPW On Demand and get your first two weeks of streaming absolutely free. And don't forget, you can also buy your tickets ahead of time through our website. Don't forget about Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube because YouTube is blowing up, folks. We're well over 30,000 subscribers and over 12 million worldwide views. I'm Justin Barlow. We'll see you folks out here this Saturday for two back-to-back -back nights of action. Excuse me, Friday and Saturday.